I've been learning a lot through audiobooks because it's hard for me to kind of start a book. And once I stop, it's like another week goes by and another week goes by and it's like, dude, what happened to that book? So we're going to go through, you know, just basic things, how important journaling is, how, how to organize your journal, how to write proper intentions, how to write affirmations and how often the time of day and how much is appropriate. Now, the last one to me is kind of how you feel about it in general. If you feel that once a day is good enough, you know, that's once a day. Sometimes I go a day without journaling at all. So I feel the last one to me is kind of up in the air, depending on how you feel about journaling. I think journaling gets a lot of things off your mind, manifesting through journaling. So that's a big thing as well. Um, writing stuff down and, and putting it out in the universe. So that's pretty important. And um, how much is up to you? You know, sometimes I just write, you know, I'll just write on a big piece of paper, believe or trust, you know, that those are things that that counts as a journal, you know, that's, that's journaling something. So just writing stuff down like that is it, and it just depends on, on you. I have actually trained myself enough to um, start off my day with gratitude and just as soon as I wake up, just kind of thanking the universe for everything and just talking basically to myself but as we all know the higher source so i like to talk to talk to just the universe and and that's where i started my gratitude off so i used to write it down i actually am going to go over this this journal that i've come across called best self i'm going to kind of give you guys some slides on that and they have actually gone through and given you a place to do morning and night <clears throat> gratitudes or gratification so um i think it's important to do that now, um, I'll come back to this slide. I want to just share you some of these slides that I've come across this. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of best self. It's a self journal. Some suck. It's not a couple. It's just that they're business partners and they created, they went, they went around and they interviewed all the top people in business and in life, you know, and coaching everything. And they, they just were having trouble kind of manifesting and journaling and, and doing all sorts of stuff in their own business. So what they went around to do was they said, we want to create this journal where we actually have everybody's kind of ideas and put into one. And it's, it'll be like the best journal for ourselves. That's why they call it the best self. Now I've got into it. I've slacked a little bit on it. Um, it's kind of something it's like anything you, you've got to get used to doing it. Um, and it's a lot of things that you guys will see that you guys already do. This is just another way to kind of organize it. So organizing it is the second one here, obviously. So this is just another way to organize it. And it's something you guys, like I said, might have already do. Now, how important is journaling? Aristotle said, we are what we, we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. So as we know, we're all trying to break habits. Every day we try to break habits. A lot of us drinking habit, um, even just simple habits is just kind of thinking negative thoughts, any kind of, um, when we get depressed, turning to certain things as far as negativity, negative self-talk, anything like that. So we're all trying to break habits. That's why we're on this call so we can get better. Now, if we can journal and we do stuff repeatedly every day, habits, routines, everything like that, we can create what we want. You know, it's, it, does, it doesn't become an act. It becomes a habit. We, we make a habit of manifesting stuff. We make it a habit of being grateful. We make it a habit of doing everything just so positively and just spreading love throughout the world. It just becomes so awesome and beautiful. And um, yeah, I mean, that, that just sums it up right there. So this is, this is the best self uh, journal. They, they, give you like a, they give you like a beginner's one to start off. And then once you've gone through one, which is like a 13 week process, they, they pass on um, what they call the graduate edition. And it doesn't give you all these first pages. So this is kind of like the first page once you open it. Um, so this is the best self community. If you guys want to get on here, go ahead. You can see the link down at the bottom. If you want to buy one, I'm not selling them. So you got to go to their website, uh, theselfjournal.com, and you can get involved in the community, like-minded people. I'm going to give you this to you guys because you guys are my community and I haven't even gone onto their community. I've checked a few of their PDFs out a little bit. Um, and then they have goal setting and, pr and productivity hacks. So if you want to check any of these out, you can go for it. I'm just sharing this with you. Now, as you see, they have the cheat sheet over here, which is setting your goals. They give you a 13-week roadmap on how to decide on your goals. 
Now they, they make you do, well, they don't make you do, they give you a page. It's like a two page thing. It's, it's almost like a, a, like a contract with yourself. And, um, you write, you write down what your goal is, how you're going to achieve it. And you actually sign at the very last page, you sign a contract with yourself, you know, to hold up all these habits and, and stuff to, to become a better self. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, and then they give you the morning routine with the gratitude, writing down your goal, today's targets, your plan for the day. And it's cool because they break it up in like a 30 minute, um, kind of 30 minute uh, lines. And then your evening routine. So your wins for the day, which is huge. I don't know if you guys know the mental part on wins for the day, writing down or even just telling yourself what was actually positive and what you won in the day, whether it's simple things like, I made a cup of coffee for myself today. That actually is rewarding to your own brain. It creates serotonin in your own brain and makes you feel better. It actually makes you feel better. So writing down at the end of the day what your wins are is beautiful. It makes it so much easier for you guys to just, you just start feeling happier. It could be the smallest things. People don't think it's like the biggest thing, like, oh, you made a cup of coffee, good for you. Well get your negativity shit out of here, dude. You need to feed yourself positive thought and actually serotonin, you know, and not just get it elsewhere all the time. I, I like to get it elsewhere sometimes, but all the time you can't, otherwise you just start relying on it. Obviously your lessons learned and then your evening gratitude. So that's cool. Like I said, you know, the morning and the evening, uh, I'm going to touch on the evening gratitude real quick because a couple weeks ago I was, you know, getting my uh, certification for this extreme focus program. And the energy that was in the room was incredible. And this guy, um, this guy Rex told me, he taught me to actually fall asleep thinking of good thoughts and appreciations. He calls them appreciations. He says there's a little difference between gratitudes and, pre and appreciations. Um, and there may be, but just falling asleep to that, that good feeling of what you're appreciative of and what you're grateful for. And then kind of just breathing into that is is like game changing. Like I did it instantly. I did it that night. I woke up like I, I just, I felt like I didn't need to drink a cup of coffee and I don't really need to drink a cup of coffee, but I just woke up like jacked up. Like i never really woke up like that. And, um, it was like the first time that I kind of mm -hmm. felt like I actually felt like super grateful to be awake because some people were like, yeah, you know, you should be grateful for just kind of waking up in the day. And like, I, I am, but that day actually changed my life. So like now I actually feel it. Like I can feel grateful every time I wake up, but like, thank you so much for me being awake right now. And I can go after this day the way I want to. And if you don't want to do it, writing it down, I recommend you do it as your head's on the pillow and having that feeling and just kind of breathing into all those appreciations and that feeling and falling asleep to that. So that's the first slide there. And then they give you these six principles. Now, um, these are their principles that they've taken from, you know, the top people in the world. And, you know, the first one here is craft a roadmap for your life. And I think it's hard when you're at a point in your life, when you don't really know where it's going, you don't really know what you want to do, but deep down you do. So you have to kind of think about it. And if you actually start writing and, and start making a roadmap for your life, this is awesome. Even if, even if it doesn't play out in 20 years, that, that, your, that roadmap didn't work out, it's going to change your life in some way. You may learn something two weeks from now because you wrote that roadmap. So writing that roadmap is just a start. That's a start to, to your journaling. And then um, they have a zero-based calendar, which I'm going to show you. They don't have a, they don't have a, uh, like a date on it. You'll see. They, they don't have dates on it. They just give you like places to write whatever you want. So if you skip a couple of days, you don't lose those couple, couple of days in your block. You can just go ahead and, and just write in the new date and just keep going. So you don't actually lose space on the calendar. No, you prioritize proactive, productive. So planning your day is, is, is huge. I, I personally like to plan my day <clears throat> mentally. I actually think about what I have to do that day. There's certain things I write down, but for me, my schedule is kind of iffy where I work construction. I never know how long it's going to take. I never know when I'm going to get off. 
but I do know my last part of the day, which is when I'm giving lessons and stuff, that's actually set in stone. Um, so I, I kind of go throughout the day when I wake up, I go through my plan. And then if there's anything that I need to remember that I need to do halfway through the day, I just write it down. So that, that helps me be a little bit more proactive and, and actually productive as well, because I don't really forget about it. So, um, and then, you know, your flexibility and your freedom, it's, um, it says right there, never feel behind. So we left everything updated so that you can start planning your goals and become your best self today. So it's not about waiting till January 1st. You can, yes, you can write a whole new roadmap, but how about writing a roadmap from today? Write one now from today on. If you already have one and you've been doing it for a couple of months, that's fine. You can write a new one for even just for the next three weeks or the next four weeks. There's little roadmaps that you have. It's not just one roadmap through life. You got to take a bunch of roadmaps. I've driven across country like 10 times, but I have, a, I have six roadmaps. You know, you have all these roadmaps through life and, and you got to put them out there and you got to actually have some plan to it. So, and then you can track it and, and you reflect on it. So your, your success in life is the sum of the habits you create. I have some journals from like, you know, 20 years ago when I was a kid and it's just cool to reflect on that. And then I have some journals from six months ago and I, I can actually track to see what happened, reflect on it. And it's crazy to, to actually go back and read. And then you realize, man, I didn't even realize I wrote that down, but it's true now. So you like almost accidentally manifested it a little bit just, just by writing it down. And we've all done this before without even knowing it. So it, it, it is a way of tracking not only your successes, but it, you can track and kind of build and grow and learn from all those, all those journals that you've written down. Then the last one is the bookend, bookend your day with positive psychology. And that just goes with the, um, <clears throat> it says that the, with starting your day with gratitude will give you happiness, boost before any negative worry thoughts can take hold. And then at night before you sleep, we just talked about that. So here's the month, here's the calendar that I was talking about. It's pretty cool. It gives you the month, you write it in there, and then you can just write the days as you go. So if you skip it all, you can still be organized. You don't like, you go on vacation for a week and then you come back like, oh, I have that whole piece of that page that I need to write in. What the F man? Like I can't write in there. It's just like a waste piece of paper. But here you take a week off and you just come back and you just write whatever you want in the next page or in the next day. Now these squares are kind of small. So I wish they would have given you um, maybe a little bit more room, but that's where the daily, um, that's where the daily pages come in. So this is kind of a cool little um, thing that you, you can do on your own as well. You can even buy a journal if you want, just cross out all the numbers and then just go as you want. There's no, there's no rules on how you got to do it. And then you put notes at the bottom. So here's the weekly. This is cool. I love this a lot because at the top, there's habits and activities that you want to do. So if you want to meditate, okay, cool. I want to meditate five times this week. So you write in the goal, you write five, and then you just check off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You check off how many times you meditated, and then you total it. It's not going to always be that you reached your goal. Boo-hoo. Who cares? You don't have to reach your goal. If you have one there, you're going to start going toward it. It's just naturally going to happen. So you can write, meditate, do yoga. I want to drink four glasses of wine this week. Okay, cool. Write that in there. Four. That's my goal. Okay. And then at the end of the week, you, you tick it off and then you, you write in a scale on one to 10, how happy you were this week and why. They give you a little area. And what's cool is they don't give you lines on this one. So you could like draw happy faces and stuff, or you could draw a sad face. You can draw jumping off of a cliff in Maui. See, that's what I love about it. This is cool. Like, like I said, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to it and keeping up with this heart. Um, but this is just a, it's a great way to organize. I think this is a great way to organize your, your, um, your journal. And then, then you get, you know, what's your three big wins for the week? And these are big ones. These aren't made a cup of coffee. These are big ones. So, and then you, then you review your goal and you, you know, you assess your progress and then your biggest lesson you've learned. I like writing these down. Um, so then you can see them later because you may forget it like a couple weeks later or a couple months later. And like I said, you can go back and reflect on these and you look at it and you're like, 
man, I learned that like a couple, couple months ago. What am I doing? Like, I need to just, I need to read this again. And, and you kind of just implement it back in your brain. And um, that's why I like writing this stuff down. And it's like, once again, there's no lines here. It's draw a picture if you want. Okay. So the, these are just week three, week four. So each page is just one week. And, um, and then you go through the daily one here. So the daily one's pretty cool too. On the right, they give you a quote every day. Um, so it's a bunch of really cool quotes. This one, I, I actually chose this one on purpose because it's wonder just enough and then go do. So um, like for this, this, for example, I just wonder what it'd be like to have a mastermind call with some people. And um, I wonder just enough for long enough and then I, now I'm doing it. So it's pretty cool. And as you can see, it gives you, it, it shows six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever, but in the middle, there's like a dotted line. So you can break it up in half hours. You can write your notes on the side. And then at the bottom is your gratitude, your goal on the right, today's targets you can write in. And then at the end of the day, you write your lesson learned, your wins, and then your nightly gratitude. So this is really, really easy to do. This is really, really easy to do. You, can, you don't even have to use the schedule. I, I, most of the time I use my morning uh, gratitude. I go for my goal, my targets for the day. And then at the end of the day, I wrote my lessons learned, my wins, and then I'm, I'm grateful. Like that's it. And this is just an easy way to organize what you're doing and how you're journaling. At the very end here, John Maxwell, if you guys know who John Maxwell is, he said, you will never change your life until you change something you do daily. The secret to your success is found in your daily routine. Now, when I talk about routines, I don't want to get them confused with superstitions because I feel like superstitions are a little bit limiting mindset. Um, when I say superstitions, I talk about like, hey, I'm going through my routine, but if I miss, oh my gosh, I didn't have my cup of coffee today. That shouldn't literally break your whole routine down. You just gotta make an adjustment to your routine, that's it. You think that it's just because you didn't do one thing. All you gotta do is make an adjustment to your daily routine. So that's what I'm saying. Have a daily routine, but don't, don't turn them into superstitions. Please don't. That's, that's how I believe anyways. I truly believe that superstitions are really, really limiting. Um, and they can, they can still be used, superstitions, but maybe we should come up with a new word for them. Um, I don't know. I just feel like they're, they're a little bit limiting as far as that goes. Now you can see kind of how to organize it a little bit better. And if you, if you like it, I recommend you go buy one and, and try it out. Um, I think they're $31 or something like that. So I do recommend you buy it and try it out. Like I said, I don't sell it. I don't get any money off of this. If you want to try it, I feel like they've done a pretty good job in organizing a journal.